Okay, so I'm gonna make a quick little video now whilst my dinner for the day is cooking, all right? Um, just briefly, briefly touching on what macros are. Um, I'm gonna make a full video on how to use my fitness part and track your macros because I think it's so beneficial and everyone needs to get on this. Um, <clears throat> but basically, all right, macros are big, large nutrients, so protein, fats, and carbs, all right? We all need them and they're in every food you eat. All right, so it's the tracking of these um, that are basically tracking your macros. All right, so uh, you use an app. All right, I use my fitness pal to help me do this. Okay, and without going too in depth now, basically what we do for each person and what I do for each client I have. All right, you find your basic metabolic rate, which is the numbers, the macros, so your calories, protein, carbs, and fats, the numbers you need to tick over to be yourself. All right, so. You as you are now, you'll have a basic metabolic rate, all right, and they will fall. So I don't know, I'm just pure numbers here. 2,500 calories, I don't know, 200 grams of protein, 200 grams of carbs, I'm just pure guessing numbers now. All right, but basically if you hit them numbers daily, you will stay exactly the same as you are now, okay? So we use my fitness pal to help us either gain or lose so we either deficit from the numbers or increase them numbers, okay? Obviously to grow or to, to cut up, all right? Diet, as I use mine for. Okay, so, um, it, it sounds so much more complicated than it is. It really isn't that complicated to do. Um, I can remember when my, one of my mates, Joe, first explained it to me, and I was, you know, even as a PT, I was like, I'm never gonna be able to grasp this, but it went in and I've never looked back from it ever again now. It's, it works a treat. So, what I'm doing now, another thing that people always ask me in the gym is like, meal prep takes so long, it doesn't, all right? I'm probably burning myself here. That is my entire day's food in there, okay? So I put water in the bottom. I think I put five eggs in the bottom that I'll, I'll peel, chuck the yolks away. All right, I've got four chicken breasts in the middle and veg in the top. Two lunch boxes split between cuss cuss. Pre-workout, post-workout, carb timings, all right? And then all I do is take it out and spread in between lunch boxes for the day. That literally takes 15 minutes to cook while I'm in the shower. I don't know, getting changed, packing my bag for work. Um, and that's it. The lunch is in my bag. I've got four or five lunch boxes in there for the day and never missing a meal. It just makes your diet so much more consistent and make sure you hit your macros. Um, so, Going back to macros, all right? Going back to how I'm gonna hit my numbers. I'm on a cut now, okay, so I'm dieting. So obviously I'm on a deficit from my basic metabolic rate, which I explained before. Now, um, to do that, all right, it's very important. <coughs> You've gotta hit your target. How do I explain this? You gotta hit these numbers daily. So for instance, all right, I might have today 200 and I don't know, 220 grams of protein to hit, okay? It's very important for you to hit that whilst dieting, okay? So what I make sure I do first, go into my fitness pal, and I input all the food that I want to eat, and I see what the numbers are left, okay? Um, and then basically say, I don't know, for instance, I pull all my meals in, put my breakfast, lunch, tea in, and say there's 30 grams of protein left at the end. I don't know, I just use an educated guess and just chuck a can of tuna in. 30 grams, roughly, in a can of tuna, and that makes sure I've hit, I've hit that protein target for the day. If you hit that target for the day, you will keep your gains um, and <clears throat> basically just keep on track, all right? It's very important to hit hit your macro targets daily, okay? Now, I am really rushing over this and as I said before, I'm really bad at just speaking. I need to practice this a lot more. But um, I hope that's give you like a little bit of an insight to how easy this is, all right? It's, it's so easy and I try and tell you guys all the time Planning your, planning your meals is not hard. It's not hard at all. The only extra bit of work you actually have to do, right, that I have to do in the morning, okay, I get a bowl, get a digital pair of scales, I put the bowl on the scales, press on, pour the veg in and just weigh it, so then it, I can put it into my fitness pal. You know, it's not, it's not hard, guys, but you've got to think, if you want to change your body, what are you actively actually doing? to change it what are you gonna what are you gonna do different from your normal daily life of just eating normally all right what are you actively gonna do to make a difference for your body to change
So this is the start, and I tell you guys so much. You know I do. All the, all the people in the gym that I, I PT, you know how much I get on about the diet. All right, this is for you guys mainly because I want you to sort of understand how easy it is. All right, and I'm not lying. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's easy. All right, I think I'm just rambling on a bit now. But last thing, all right, um, dieting. When you're dieting, snacks. People keep asking me what can I eat when I'm dieting. I'm craving stuff. Now for me, right. When I'm craving the sugars and stuff, I just fill myself with artificial stuff. Now, it's not the best. I'm not telling you to do it because obviously sweeteners and artificial flavorings and stuff aren't good. But for dieting, if they, if they hit my craving, I'm going to do it. So, you know, it's, I'm not getting gaining calories. I'm not in, in taking sugar from it, anything like that. I'm not going to be getting fat. So I'm going to eat it. I'm going to drink it. <laughs> so flavored waters, Coke Zero, you know, Lilt Zero is... <laughs> Unbelievable, bit expensive, but it's worth it, okay? And, all right, now these, the 70p, all right, and it's sugar-free jelly. Now, just to get a bit of science on you and read the macros, per pot of jelly, all right, there's 0 0.5 gram of carbs, nine calories, and that's it. There's nothing else in it, okay? So, basically what I do, for when them cravings are hitting you, yeah? all right, you need them there ready, all right. I pour these into my shakers. Here's some I prepared earlier. <laughs> okay, bullock, lime, raspberry, strawberry. Okay, you pour them into shakers. They're set overnight, and then throughout the day, I'm craving a bit of shit. Maybe you just literally just I don't know. Have a spoon if I can pick the jelly up. Mm, do you know what I mean? It's a quick fix and they're so good. Not particularly this one, but these two. Put a bit of Greek yogurt over top of it. That's lime flavour, so obviously lime and yogurt can really go, but strawberry, black currant are really good with Greek yogurt. So, yeah, I think that's it. Um, again, I'm just talking while my food cooks, but I think it's pretty much done now. Um, but yeah, I hope this has helped a little bit. Very brief touching on macros. I'm gonna make a full video. You know, I'm getting a big whiteboard when I move into a new flat in the office. So I'm having a white, big, uh, little, a big whiteboard. I'm gonna sit and fully explain everything to you about how to use your macros, how to track them, how to stay on track. All right. But this is an intro. I hope it's helped. Peace out. <laughs>